I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales, and I'm on board Defiance, a 2008 Grand Banks 45 East Bay SX. Defiance is a single owner boat. This owner built her new after owning a Grand Banks East Bay 38 for nine years. She has the preferred layout with the galley down and the convertible second stateroom to starboard that also has a convertible office in it. And she has very low hours, just under 500 hours on the Caterpillar C9s. Here's a look at Defiance on her beautiful floating dock here on Long Island. This is where she spent really the majority of her life besides some short cruising by these owners. The big aft cockpit there. She has a fixed swim platform. There are a couple underwater lights down there. Do have a couple deck chairs that go out here. This walk through transom is awesome. Brings us here into the cockpit. We've got a ice maker here to starboard. Deck locker with shelves here. And this is a unique uh, custom bench seat here. And it actually has these two opening hatches and these are insulated with cold plates in them. So these are actually refrigerators um, or can be used as, a, as an ice box. You see we've got a drain there. And then this custom storage here. You've got two teak tables there still room for maybe some teak chairs and this is a passerelle custom passerelle that goes into these stainless steel mounts um, for if you're on a, a fixed dock or med mooring taking a look here the 45 has this awesome indoor outdoor space. This boat has the electric lowering window and that little standing bar there. So you really get a great indoor outdoor space, which for the SX model of the East Bay, you typically have either an indoor space or outdoor, but here we really can open up with this window. This uh, opens up all the way aft so you can keep the lower uh, portion shut for having pets on board. And you can see right away she has the preferred layout here. The galley's down. Um, this U-shaped settee to port also converts into a berth. That table drops down. And over here to starboard, a couple chairs and the TV comes out from there, which it'll start to do. And moving forward to the helm here. Really great visibility. We've got the single stid helm seat. Canvas in excellent condition. This boat has the Fleur night vision camera, which you control from over here. Trim tabs, throttles, bow thruster. It's our cat engine displays and Raymarine electronics. And your Simrad autopilot in the middle. Got two redundant VHF radios with the mics here, windshield wipers. We do have a center opening windshield there so you can open this out, get some ventilation underway. And 
we of course have this lovely skylight convertible top that opens up underway and you have a twin bench seat here to port your co-pilot seat with your little dash the electrical panel is very easily accessed here at the helm got your generator remote start DC panel battery monitors and then your AC 110 volt down below this boat has a water maker really awesome to open this boat up like this we've got the ocean air shades on all the windows in here including the forward windows and we'll take a look at the galley down I mentioned earlier just great having this galley down below here Excellent storage, which is really the main advantage of having it down below. Um, this is a wonderful cruising boat, and being able to be down here, um, part of the SX model is it's open air. You've got the helm right here, so I can be making a sandwich or grabbing a drink and still be within view, really, of everything. There's my fridge. Freezer over here. Got a three burner stove and the sharp convection oven. Over here to starboard is our uh, convertible second stateroom. So, obviously, set up as the Elsa T here and TV up above, and we have this excellent uh, feature here where we turn this into a um, an office, which is one of my favorite East Bay features. And just like that. You've got an office with a 110 volt plug, your TV right above. Take a look at that. Just so clever. And they really thought of everything. You can, these are split lockers here, so you can still open these with the desk up. And this com converts out into basically a full size bed. It's about six and a half feet long, and you can easily sleep two people on it. <clears throat> so moving forward, we've got the Jack and Jill access to the head here, full stall shower, electric vacuum flush, Marine toilet, and our bowl sink, tons of storage in here, really nice mirrors, and a couple hatches uh, for ventilation. You can see we have. So, this is the access for the second stateroom. And then moving forward, we've got the access for the master. Center Island Queen berth, nice storage below. And hanging locker here, cedar line to 
the starboard. And some more storage here. Port. Really nice, airy down here. Big, huge overhead. A couple of port lights. And you do have a privacy door here. A nice mirror behind it. Such a great layout. This is the ultimate couples cruising boat. Tons of amenities. These great walk-arounds, you can see I have plenty of room here. And kind of missed it when I got on there, but I've got full hand height um, all the way around the boat. And continuing forward, more handholds. We've got the Moon Dust non skid here, a Maxwell anchor windlass, stainless steel anchor and chain, foot pedals. We also have the remote at the helm and our deck lockers for fenders, lines. There's a wash down in there. We've got the open array HD radar, sat TV. There's your floor night vision. Boat is in very nice condition. Take a look at the engine space here. All right, down below here in the engine room, get a look at our power plant here. She's the Twin Cat C9s. There's your fire suppression, a Aqua Whisper water maker, a booster pump for that, filters, uh, water heaters back there. And we do have a couple engine room cameras. There's one here and another one back aft. She does have a backup camera as well. Here's your Cummins. Onan generator. The Glendenning automatic shore power cord reel there. These are intakes for the main engines. Battery charger. Battery switches. Our autopilot there. Everything easy to get to. Well laid out. Really nice space here. Some battery boxes, triple shaft seals, three brand new air conditioning compressors that were just put on a couple of weeks ago. Love this 45. Such a cool layout. This cockpit's humongous. Great for entertaining. Uh, there's a look at the backup camera up there, Ray Marine, right there on the mast. These huge cavernous deck lockers. There's our dual Raycore filters mounted to the back of the fuel, fuel, fuel tank there. Take a look at those. And lines and fenders.
Thank you for watching this walkthrough tour. If you have any questions about Defiance, please feel free to call, text, or email me. My contact information is right below the video.